so this is Gelato just chilling. I think it's maybe um, day eight since her surgery. She's just hanging out. Oh, little baby, so cute when you blink like that. Oh, okay, I need to stop with the annoying voice. Anyways, so we're gonna go into her little cage, and a lot of you guys kind of wanted a tour of her cage, and I haven't, you know, updated in a while. Um, I'm going to show you what her cage looks like at a very extremely dirty state. So this is the dirtiest her cage will get. Um, this is two weeks without cleaning. I know, it's pretty disgusting, but honestly, for a bunny, she's not that bad. Like, a lot of people have, like, really pooish, dirty, stinky bunnies, and that's what a lot of my friends would say. But they're really surprised on how clean gelato is. And so anyways, this cage I actually got off of Amazon because I love that freaking store. And I actually have Amazon Prime, so I got this shipped to me within, like, two days. Um, it's actually in a giant octagon shape. Um, I can actually pull, I say actually a lot, I'm sorry guys, I can pull out these cages and make it fit like this whole room, but uh, I don't want it to fill up the whole space, so I kind of just fold it and make it into a giant rectangular shape. Um, if I want to clean this, I usually just open this side panel right here and pull it out and then just kind of stick my vacuum in there and go. But other than that, Gelato is very clean for a bunny. Um, so I'm going to kind of walk you guys through her little living habitat. She used to have a really cool um, cardboard box condo, but she started chewing on the bottom of it and it collapsed and I just haven't been able to build her a new one. I'm thinking about getting her a CNC cage and building her a condo there, but uh, I need some free time first before I do that. But anyways, um... I guess we could talk a little bit about her cage and the essentials. Um, first of all, I have a Dirt Devil vac right here. It's just a tiny vacuum, just in case, you know, when Gelato uses her potty litter, um, sometimes when she jumps out of it, a piece of poo would like fling across her cage. And um, having a Dirt Devil vacuum kind of just helps me clean it up quicker. And I don't have to clean her cage every single day. Um, she has a little food bowl here. I actually don't put food in here. Um, it's kind of just there for her to mess around with. She likes to grab like a corner or a part of the bowl and then spin it around. Um, this is a little teddy bear that she, well, it used to be in the bowl and it looked really nice, but she kind of pushed it out of its home. So I don't know. She's kind of a bully. As you guys can see, there's little pits. Um, these are nectaring pits, and sometimes I would eat the rest of the fruit, and there will still be like little bits of the fruit left, and I'll just give her the rest of the pit. It's good too because it'll help her with her teeth, and um, it doesn't like grow too long, even though she really has her hay for that kind of maintenance. But this giant box here is an automatic feeder. Um, I'm working a lot, or I'm not home a lot, or when I go or I travel and Texan isn't home to feed her, um, I have an automatic feeder that feeds her every single um, four to six hours, and it's usually pellets. And I don't give her cups of pellets. I actually give her a quarter cups of pellets every four to six hours, um, just you know to keep her um, vitamins and stuff going. But she always has an ample amount of hay around. Um, but this is really cool. It's actually for cats and dogs, but I've read a lot of reviews how like cats could break into it and stuff. But Gelato, you know, she's a bunny. She's not going to be able to lift up this lid or knock it over and stuff. But I really, really like it. Um, I also got this on Amazon. It was $39, but it's really, really helpful for when I can't be around to feed her pellets and stuff. And it's cool because, you know, um, when the pellets do come out, it actually says, Gelato, come here, food time. So it's actually my recording. It's really cool if you guys want to look into that. Okay, so we're over in the cage area. Oh, actually, I'm missing something. This is her water bottle, and it's a giant one. Um, it lasts for about a week and a half or even two weeks, but I try to change the water every week or so so she has fresh clean water but um it's nice to have a bigger bottle versus the little one because gelato since it's so hot in houston um even though she lives in a very air conditioned space and she drinks a lot of water bunnies just drink lots of water and the little ones don't really last that long for her i mean it'll be gone in two days so having one that is for a week long is really really nice okay so as you can see this is the box for the automatic feeder that i got her but when I was setting up the automatic feeder, she had a blast in this box, so I decided to keep it for her. 
Now, Gelato is just like her mommy. She likes to decorate her habitat. So, as you can see, she has shredded and created a little dugout for herself inside of her little box. Um, it is very annoying when she's digging and scratching and pawing at this box, but if that's how she likes to decorate, I'm not going to question it. This little carpet thing right here, hey, go away. <laughs> Look how excited she is. Um, this little um, carpet black piece thing right here, I got it from Home Depot. I got it for about $20. It's actually one of those uh, floor mat things that people will put out in their patio or one of those welcoming mats in the front door but like extremely large size um, you have to go into like the um, vinyl and floor matting sections and that's where you could find it now the reason why I like it a lot is because it has the um, gritty texture so that she doesn't slip and slide on it but at the bottom it's a rubber texture so if she were to spill her water or accidentally get sick and pee or throw up or barf or whatever it doesn't soak through into the carpet which is really nice. Um, what else do you want to talk about, Gelato? Do you want to talk about your potty? Huh? You want to talk about your potty? Okay, so this is Gelato's litter tray. Now, inside her litter tray, I use a um, type of litter called Carefresh. It's basically recycled newspaper or recycled paper of some form. And inside her litter tray, I also throw her hay in there. What I've learned is that Gelato has a tendency to poo all over her hay right after she gets done eating all the good stuff. Because Timothy hay comes in like um, a harder form and it also has the leaves and the flower nubs and stuff. Well, Gelato would eat all the nubs and the leaves and then leave all like the harder stalks behind. And she doesn't like to eat those, so she would poo all over it and then I would have to clean her freaking cage like every two days and it was really annoying so I learned that if I just put the hay in with her litter box I could just change it out every single night which I do and that's the reason why gelato doesn't stink and she's very high maintenance and clean so um what should I say okay so the litter box is actually a cat litter box I got it at PetSmart for like four dollars do not go into the bunny section and buy a bunny litter box because that thing is like what $12.99 $16.99 I've already made that mistake. Gelato grew out of that box really quick. And the moment she grew out of it, she didn't want to pee or poo in it. She decided to just pee and poo everywhere. And it was a huge mess. So I had to get a bigger one for her. So if you're just going to train your bunny, you might as well get a big one. And then like maybe cut out a little hole or cut out like a slit or something if they're little. And then have them train themselves in there. And then just leave the box like that when they get older because it just works. Um, the white plastic bag is a kitty litter liner bag. And I think I bought a box of like 100 for $13, which will last me three months. Um, I just lay it down, I put the litter in, the hay in, and then every night I just take it out and tie it up and throw it away. It's really easy and really quick. Now underneath the liner, I do have newspaper um, laid underneath. This is because if Gelato, you know, decide to paw at the plastic or chew the plastic and it leaks through, at least the newspaper will absorb it so then I don't have to go in and clean the plastic tray. Um, and if I did, I would just take the newspaper out and then wipe it down with like some kind of wet nap or whatever. Um, really easy to clean. Pass around, she doesn't knock things over. She doesn't poo anywhere outside of her litter box. So Gelato is very clean as a bunny. Much it. And as you can see, she's getting ready for her food because I think it's coming at 9 p.m. So, yeah, she, she knows when she's going to get some goodies coming out. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys this little thing right here. Um, I got this little purse thing from Target during one of their Easter um, sales. And you are so nosy. You're just coming over constantly. What, what do you want? What do you want, stinky bunny? I love you. I love you. Oh, check out her hair. She has like the cutest hair ever. Look at that. They call it the perfect crown. Yep, Gelato is going to be a show bunny. You're going to be a little model, aren't you? Except for these spots. You will have to get rid of these spots. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Just kidding. I love you. Okay, so anyways, back to this little bag. Um... I got these toe clippers. It's from the Martha Stewart line because Gelato deserves the best in all designer brands. Um, I got a little brush for her, which is also from the Martha Stewart line.
But honestly, she doesn't like the brush. Guess what she really likes? The vacuum. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that totally weird? Like, I don't even have to brush her fur out anymore when she sheds. I just run the vacuum to her. She thinks it's her best friend. She actually really likes the big vacuum too. Like, she'll just stare at it and chase it around while I'm trying to clean her cage. And she gets so excited and that she starts doing binkies. It's like the weirdest thing ever. And I think that's pretty much it. I hope the video was helpful. Um, maybe give you guys some idea on how to take care of a bunny or how to set up a bunny's living space, but I might have to get rid of some of that junk right there. What's with your obsession with crotches and butts? Anyways, um, that's it. I guess the next video is going to be on how to potty train your bunny. And that's that. Bye. Say bye, gelato. Bye, bubble butt.